ladies and gentlemen my name is Chris Njoko I want to show us how to insert a table and then a picture into our Word document what you're seeing here now is a document I've just scrolled through so you see what is on the document I want to insert a table and then also insert a picture into this document first I drop my cursor there and so I click on this okay and then I come to the home tab that is where we are going to see a lot now look at what we have here we have insert draw layout review and view a lot of task to walk around so so i'll click on tab and then click on insert and now what is asking what do you want to insert do you want a blank page scan document table picture let's start with a table you can see a table has been inserted into it and then the table that is inserted you can do a lot to the table as it is now we're seeing three columns and three rows we're seeing three columns and three rows this is a column this is a column this is a column making it three columns and then we're also seeing three rows this is row one row two row three so now there is an opportunity for you to insert either a row or a column and this is what this very tab is showing us so if you want to insert to read you can quickly move click on this and then you see insert above insert below insert to the left insert to the right this is same thing we do using our desktop or laptop computer that is for a table now i want to move out and then go to inserting a picture let's say below assignment here let me click on this and then drop my cursor here i want to insert a picture there so i come here go to the home tab click on insert and then click on picture now it's asking me do you want to snap the picture or you want to select from your phone which is photos i click on photos now we are moving to my device where i can quickly select a file let's assume i want to select this okay this has been selected the best way for you to get it into your application using your phone is you press hard look at me again i press hard and then you see the color has changed meaning that it has been selected then you come to the top here you click on select which means the one you press hard will be selected as you can see it has been selected and then what is asking me do you want to rotate it do you want to crop it do you want to delete it you can see them from the bottom so i want to crop it so i click on crop so it gives me an opportunity to crop it mind you if you pick anywhere from the side that is how it will move so the best way to crop is you pick from the middle pick from the middle here pick from the middle so that's the best place to pick from it so that it will be moving the way you want it as you can see it's moving i pick from the middle from the top as well and so when i'm done i click on confirm 
and then I click on done. The picture has been inserted into the document. Now, the next thing you need to do here is that you need to format this. You need to format it. How do you format it? You need to tell the application that you want the picture that you have inserted either to be on. As you can see, service delivery forum is behind the picture. Let me take it back there. So what we need to do now is that we go and do the needful to it. This is what you click on. Let me show you. Sorry, this is what you need to click on. This. And so, you click on it, it shows you a lot. Like I spoke about earlier, in line with test, square, tight, true. When you start walking, you play around, you see the importance of all of this. The best is in line with test, but however, your document production um, target determines what you do. In some cases, it might just be for you to use the square or tight or true or top and bottom. The top and bottom means that when you place it like that, everything you are typing, whether it be at the top or bottom of the picture, they will not be obstructing it. So now I want to click in line with test. Which I've clicked on. So the next thing I do is that I will create a space in between so that the picture will have its own position. Now I place my hand hard on the picture, I move it a little bit down. You can see now. So I will create a space for it. If by creating a space, I drop my cursor where I want and press my enter tab. So the space will be created. You can see I'm pressing my enter key. The space has been created. Now I have to go and move the file back to it. So I place my hand on it and then I drag it to the space where I want. So the space is still not enough. That is why you see it jumping into the next page. So what you do, you also place your hand on it until you you find a reasonable space for it. So, I want to click on this again and then create more space because my intention is to ensure that the picture is on its own and then nothing is obstructing it. I place my hand on it and bring it down. So, as you can see, nothing is obstructing it. And then the picture is also not obstructing anything. You can see if the space is too much, you can press your back key to delete and then you move up a little bit to cover the space. When you are done, this is what you click on for it to return to how it should be. So, looking at this now. Our picture is somewhere not disturbing, disturbing any other thing. Our table is also inserted here. So these things are just easy for us to play around and then we we'll know what we want. This space you want to cover it, you drop your cursor there and then you click the backspace. When you click your backspace, you cover up the space as you want it. So this is a reasonable space. You can as well decide to move your picture down there. You place your hand hard on the picture and then you move it like I've done now. If the space is enough, you see it there. You can as well reduce the size by holding it, reduce the size so it can enter where you're going to. 
so you see because the size is reduced you can easily enter there and then you also delete to create a space to cover all the space that is there so this is how you do some little little formatting when you insert your table you insert your picture if you are using a laptop this is still the process you go to the insert on your ribbons on the menu there you click on the insert uh, tab and then you go and search for a picture where it is and drop it if it's a table you want to insert as well you click on insert and then you see table at the top there and click on table in that case it won't ask you how many um, rows and column you desire and then you do it as you want these are things that you can play around at your leisure time it will build your confidence the day you come face to face with a laptop and you're told to do some of these tasks you will not have a challenge and some of us have had this knowledge of document production five seven ten years ago we have all forgotten how to play around this this is just the process of doing that